Well, hello, and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> I sound like a man today. But I was just thinking that I've been rambling on, and I haven't even introduced myself. So, let's see about me. My name is Tara, or Intuitive Tara, or Shamar Kelly, or Central Valley Medium, or Tara Candies, um, <laughs> any of those that you would like to use, um, be, my ba me, bleh, be my guest. I would do the hair or something. Okay. Um, let's see, I'm from this California. I'm, I've been on like numerous shows about, cause, oh, sorry. I am an intuitive psychic and spiritual medium. I was born this way. Um, even before everyone thought it was cool or whatever, like, like my hero has always been Sylvia Brown and um, no one better say anything. I'll tell you that right now. If one person says any mean things, then you just watch out. No, but seriously, mm -hmm. um, she's a world renowned psychic. And, you know, her books are the best. So, um, you know, I learned a lot from that growing up. And she was, you know, always someone I could, like, look up to. Um, you know, because I felt like I was a weirdo um, most of the time. And you couldn't talk to people about this. Because I grew up in a small um, farming town, like, in the Central Valley on a walnut ranch. So, um... You know, in my town, if you were different or, like, there was, like, no, like, it was hard, okay? Growing up, <laughs> growing up, there was no, like, gay people. There was no, like, there was, like, there was, I don't know. There was just, it was just white, like, Okies, not to be rude, but white Okies. <laughs> And, um, like Mexicans, because I don't know, that's just how it was. And, um, I was in FFA, I was on the FFA, and I showed steers, and I was, um, the Sentinel, for, you know, and I went around and, with our little FFA group, and did, like, speeches, and went to conventions, actually got my state FFA degree, um, by a little known fact. I have a lot of different degrees, actually. Um, I'm a certified medical assistant. I'm an interior designer. Got my bachelor's in that. Um, I have, oh my god, I can't even list them all in uh, metaphysical sciences and just a lot. Like I need like a little list to go off on that. Um, but so pretty much. Um, when I was, oh geez, this is a whole nother story about how I came out about being psychic because, you know, like a lot of the time I couldn't even say I'm psychic. You know, I know things. You'd be like, I'm sorry. You know, what? Huh? Oh, I'm psychic. You know, and you're like, because you're still, people are going to be like, right. And you have to win people over, to be honest. You have to, you know, once. I am, I get flustered and like, like this a lot, <laughs> um, especially when I'm around a lot of people and because I'm getting things from everywhere and you know, a lot of people, not to be rude, but a lot of the psychics and, um, tarot card users mm. or whatever are not real. Sorry, my hair is like, they make everyone else look bad. They do. They do. What is going on over here? But they make everyone else look bad because anyone that tells you that you have like evil spirits around you or the bad things are gonna happen to you if unless you give them all your money or unless you give them like, you know, some money to hold or you need to buy this candle for like two hundred and fifty dollars or whatever, like that don't 
Just walk out. Seriously, don't believe that shit, that stuff, and just walk out. Because, um, for one, they buy those candles in bulk. Um, they're candles. You can go to the dollar store. What color do you want? You know? We could, they, they could scrape it. They could put stuff around it. Whatever they're going to do. But don't do that. Because seriously, what they're basically doing is, yeah, things might change. Things might get better. But it's all in your mind. Like if you think, oh, I got this candle. Things are going to be amazing. Things are going to be better now because I lit this candle. You know, she's, I paid all this money. Like, no. No. And that's not a good person to be... To, to be conning people for their, you know, for money. Like, to play off their, like, their fears and anxieties. And that's just not cool. You know, we were the ones who have a gift. Who actually are legit and aren't conning people. I'm sorry. But most storefronts, I don't mean to be rude. But most storefronts, they have, they have bills to pay. They have a rent. You know, they have like the lights and stuff and they they are usually the ones who take advantage of people okay I used to have a storefront and to be honest a lot of the time I was paying for that out of my like own pocket because for one like I feel like we were all given our gifts for um they you know good you know, I was here to be the bridge between the living and the dead. I'm here to help children with their gifts. I am here to, you know, help people with their issues. Like, I can tell everyone else what to do. And it's right. But I don't ever listen to myself. Which is sad. But. Just. It's just crazy. Because I, I have groups on Facebook. Um, the gifted helping the gifted and a, a couple other ones you know I have, I have a twitch I just started um, I've done ink cover girl I've done the maximum um, I did the slam show these are things where I had to put myself out there and um, you know um, It's crazy. Just, uh, I love, I love people and I love being social. Um, but I've learned also that with this comes, you know, some people think it's fun. Some people think, you know, like, let's be friends with Tara. Um, let's see what she has to say or what do you or I, the, what I get is that, what do you get about me? Like, what do you, what do you pick up off me? Like, for one, don't ask me that when I'm at the dentist, okay? Like, when I'm like, you know, like, and then, oh, what, do you get any vibes off me? Like, like maybe when I'm not in such an awkward position. But, and then people want to be your friend, and uh, it's gotten sometimes when, like, every day, they want to like know this, know that, know this, know that, know this, connect with this. And it's kind of like where you're like, okay, you know, we have to like, I have to step back and not feel like a show pony or I don't even know. Like, but, but then when you do that, they start, um, like, well, I'm just going to hurt myself or like, and that is just crazy. That is when, like, things have happened before where I had to step back. And I had, you know, um, I've had a home, um, had a home invasion. That's a whole nother, whole nother story. But since then, you know, it's really gotten, it's really gotten kind of, you know, hard. Because I live in a small town and, um, I live in a small town and, I just don't work on things around here and um because I do have you know I do have children 
and you know like it's a safety thing and um so but I do you know I have now been starting to do readings again because mm. yeah, that's just a whole nother I just need to be quiet because that's just a whole nother video because I have evident like it's ah it's crazy it's really crazy because like when things happen that you like know were gonna happen and you're like and sometimes it's like like you're waiting for you're waiting for someone to jump out and be like can I camera or like I don't even know like I don't even know but you're like is this really happening right now and when somebody else that like has been through the whole journey with you is standing right there and they're like holy crap this happens over and over and over and over and over again I mean like my um, clients have came back over and over and over they repeat customers and things in my life that I your whole life is a manifestation you know what you think about you bring about that's the saying and it's true good or bad so I'm getting off topic but so if you think good things, good things will happen. If you think bad things, bad things will happen. Like, oh, my day, my day, oh, my day suck, they suck. Well, yeah, they're going to suck. Your day is going to suck. You know, just be nice to everybody. Just, you know, try to help everyone out. You try to help somebody, usually it comes back for you. You know what I mean? Like, it's karma. Things happen, you know? It's just, everyone be nice people and don't con people. And I have so many stories for you, <laughs> um, so many rants, so many crazy, crazy stories. So, um, oh, sorry, my back and hurt. So, yeah. So I just wanted to introduce myself. To be honest, um, this is this is Tara, but I'm Tara. Intuitive Tara Candies. Oh, and IntuitiveTara.com, not .net. That's another story. And oh my God. Oh my God. Just saying. That's a whole other story. Yeah. So, anyways, please like and subscribe and share, which I don't watch my own videos. So, it's like a little surprise for both of us, right? Because. I'm awkward, but I know what I'm talking about, and I'm funny sometimes, so, anyways, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, link to my website will be down there, mm. and my phone number if you would like to call to schedule an appointment that way, but I'm a texter or an emailer, when I get on the phone, people don't like to get off, so, I try not to do that, anyways, I hope everyone has a great day. And remember to su uh, subscribe to my channel. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you.